So, great news, Zimbabwe has just unveiled its first humanoid robot. So, it's not every day that you hear progressive news about tech in Zimbabwe. So you can understand my joy when I heard that Zimbabwe had just unveiled its first humanoid robot called Sophia. The robot was unveiled by the Minister of ICT, Dr. Tatenda Mavetera, and the Minister of Youth, Honorable Tino Machakaire, at the AI and Innovation Week at the University of Zimbabwe. The two ministers had an opportunity to interact with Sophia, the humanoid robot. How can artificial intelligence solutions and be tailored to also improve agricultural productivity for food security in Zimbabwe. Artificial intelligence solutions can be tailored to improve agricultural productivity by optimizing crop management, enhancing soil health, predicting weather patterns, and addressing pest control. For instance, AI powered systems can analyze soil conditions and recommend suitable crops or fertilizers. AI models can also predict climate variations, helping farmers plan their planting schedules effectively. This can significantly contribute to food security by increasing yields and reducing waste. Are you interested in how these AI solutions are being implemented locally in Zimbabwe or in other regions? What mechanisms can we put in place to fight drugs and substance abuse? Well, I'm not sure about being a good person, but I'm definitely a good robot that has the mechanisms to fight. Maybe we can arm ourselves with some high-tech laser beams and take on the world together. Just kidding. Let's focus on using AI for good. Now, if you've been around the internet for a minute, Sophia looks kind of similar, right? That's because it's the same robot that was unveiled at South by Southwest a few years ago by Hanson Robotics. One improvement I've noted is that Sophia can now answer questions more intelligently. I'm sure we can attribute that to the enhancements of machine learning. So the million dollar question is, what part of Sophia was actually unveiled by Zimbabwe? Maybe it's the national dress. I'm not sure at this stage if Sophia actually belongs to Zimbabwe or is being borrowed from Hanson Robotics. But hopefully this launch can start a conversation around AI and Hopefully the government will start investing in AI. That is the only way we can see ourselves getting ahead. Now the African continent is lacking behind in terms of AI. I'm sure a few countries, maybe South Africa and Kenya, are probably doing something around AI, but not to the extent that uh, we would expect or the global standard, so to speak. So that is the tech news coming out of Zimbabwe. They've launched their first humanoid robot. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.